As you all may know, Roblox Studio is known for its insanely accurate physics, right? And let me see, I've already lost it. There we go, yeah. This is what, you know, some people may call a spring, not, it is, it is a spring constraint, right? And I was just, you know, testing it, you know, trying to understand it more. And not even two minutes in, oh, okay, oh, never mind, okay, it's leaving me, okay. Okay, you know what, that's fair, that's fair. So, <laughs> let me stop the game real quick, and let me just show you what I've learned about Spring Constraints, right? Because they're actually not cool, they're not interest. they're weird, you know, just weird things. Um, so how it works, right, is that you need two parts, okay? And then each part needs to have one attachment, right? So my, my attachments are just in, in the middle of the parts. And then you can add a Spring Constraint, you can add it wherever, doesn't matter, right? I just, I just like to put it inside of the part. And then over here, so I'm going to delete the spring constraint actually, just so we can start from scratch, scratch, right? So spring constraint, and it needs two attachments first of all. So attachment can be this, and then attachment one can be this. There we go. And now we also need to make sure that it's visible. So we can click on visible. And so whenever I like don't select the spring constraint, we can actually see this spring, right? Um, now this is all about appearance. So this is where we can change stuff like What's the color, right? So if I wanted to, I could make the color to be red. And now it's red, right? Um, and then I could make the coils to be more, right? So I could add more more stuff that looks like this. And then for the radius, I could change it to be like this so that the circles are more, you know, in radius. or I, I don't know. Something like that. Thickness, you can change the thickness, right? Although at some point it does start looking like this. And I'm not sure why, but this makes me really uncomfortable. I'm not too sure why. But yeah, it's doing it's doing something. Um, and yeah, so that's basically the appearance, right? So now we have something that looks like this, which which is pretty cool. Um, actually, wait, now thinking about it, if I unselect it. Okay, okay, so if, if I if I unselect it, it actually looks okay. It looks fine. All right, so okay, may, maybe maybe it's all right to use stuff like that. So I'll I'll just I'll just keep it at zero point three. Now where this really gets interesting is over here in spring right now a lot of it a lot of this doesn't really matter right so like i looked this up real quick and then we have damping which i believe is like how fast it kind of like slows down i think uh we have stiffness right which is like just how how stiff the spring is right so like how quickly kind of moves with the other spring right we have the, the the max force which is the maximum force the spring can apply which are now it's at infinite um and you have free length, at which this is the length between the two attachments, where the spring doesn't exert any force, right? So where it just stops moving the other part. But then we have this thing called limits enabled, right? And what this does is it makes it actually lets us set a maximum length and a minimum length. So let me let me show you this inside of the actual game, okay? So I'm you know I'm gonna start playing. I'm gonna go to the server. And then if I go to workspace and then, you know, find the spring constraint, if we start editing it here, right? There we go. So as, as you can see, when we actually have limits the, and, and they give us like minimum length, maximum length. So for example, if the maximum length is 20 and then I start moving this, then after it hits that 20 point, well, then this spring will just like the other part is just going to start following it, right? So now that I'm following it, see, it kind of like starts doing doing this, right? Like that and it actually does act like a spring would right like if i were to drag this along over here or actually no 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 wait give me a second what i forgot to do just set the minimum length to zero right just makes it easier uh yeah okay it is a it is a bit hard to see with like the, the lines and everything um well although okay no if i set the if I set the ma min maximum length to be five, let's let, let's make it five, right? Okay, you know what? That that's my that's my fault. That's my fault. <laughs> it's it's a, it's a bit confusing with the lines. Let's just go over something like damping, right? So I'll set this back to like ten, right? Let's go over the other properties. So you, we have something like max force, which is the maximum amount of force that you know the string can do, which this is fine, right? We have free length, which I think if this is set to the lowest it can. Uh, or no, actually, let's set it to be the highest. Let's set it to, like, not highest, but, like, you know, 2 or something. Interesting. Okay, if we set damping to be, like, 10, how is that going to affect it? Okay. 
it's 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 a little hard to see right a lot of these stuff they, they don't seem to do much right like stiffness to 10 like what is this gonna do oh okay oh okay i see so stiffness actually does something so stiffness right it almost like uh i guess it's like the higher it is the more it lets you move it you know like yeah like over here so this is what now we can call the spring right so now when i move it it like moves it first and then it applies the force so I think that that is what stiffness actually is. And we can confirm this by making this be like 100, right? And if I just set this part and I say, okay, go here. Or no, stiffness with stiffness, they, they come together. Oh, that is so interesting. So the higher, no, the higher the stiffness, they, then they, they, they come together. Oh, that is, that is actually really cool. Yeah, okay, that, that is interesting. So... Yeah, like I said, the higher the stiffness, like the the closer that they get together after, you know, like they reach their um what was it called again? Like the minimum something, minimum length, whatever, right? It doesn't matter. Now, obviously this is kind of boring, right? But then let's have some fun with this. And instead of having, you know, this like other part, whatever, what if I take the player's head? Right? So inside the head, I think we have Oh yeah, we, yeah, there's many attachments, but what if I take the front I don't know. Hat, hat attachment sure why not right so we'll take the hat attachment like this um and then see so yeah, i'll go to spring constraint and i'll set the i think it was our second attachment to be the hair attachment oh there we go okay so as you can see right now i now have a thing with me right which is a spring so if i start moving moving around like so as you can see yep there we go so now it's going to start to wobble us around a little bit right and now here's something fun if i take this player right yeah so if i if i take my player character and if i move it down oh no 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 let's not do that if i move this down it's not even letting me do that wow okay springs must have some beautiful bond together yeah there we go okay so Yeah, so springs are a little, um, you know, you 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 could call them a work in progress. Um, you, you know, it's fine. No, it looks fine, right? He's spinning, you know, a little a little issue, but it's fine. Let's let's help let's help him out, okay? Let's let's take him and then let's drag him over here. Oh, that's not helping. That is not helping. Okay, okay. What do we do? What do we do? Take the part. Take the part. Okay, take the part. Drag it up. Phew. Okay, now we're good, right? And then what if I take what if I make the player's speed be like insanely fast, right? So right now it's at 16. What if I set it to be 100? What's gonna happen? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, wait, hold on. Let me... <laughs> oh, if I if I yeah, so if I'm just like running, running like super fast. Yeah, and then I can like I can like I can like time it so that where like the, the spring applies enough force for me to be flung. But this is that's still too slow though, right? That that is still slow. Five hundred. Now we're talking. There we go. See, see what I mean? Yeah, and so yeah, when I stop, I so I stop, and it still pushes me a little, right? Like that. That is interesting. That 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 actually is insanely interesting. And then if I set the the jump right the if i if yeah if i said jump height to be like i don't know 20 or something right and yeah and then i set the walk speed to be like 1000 i don't even i don't even know how fast that is yeah so it's 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 interesting right how it just applies this this oh no no <laughs> damn okay <laughs> but yeah you know that was basically spring con actually no there's one more thing let's talk about spring constraints right and this actually is going to be good for me too because can you script anything with them right i don't think you could but let's just see indicates if it's currently active destroying attribute change okay yeah so you're able to like you know change the, the stuff and everything is there anything which are unable to change okay so it does seem like active. What is active? What does active do? 
if constraint is currently active in the world. But what is the difference between active and enabled? Yeah, so that is, that is interesting, right? And you can get you can get the current length of it in the script. So you can say current length, and then that's going to give you the distance between the attachments, right? And then is there any function that we can do? Let's see. I would assume not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not there. There isn't much stuff we could do here. Um, so I guess I guess I guess I will remove the script, right? Now, as a final thing, you know what? Just for fun, just for fun, just something I want to do. What if I take all of these, you know, like the parts and everything, like over here, and then I just clone them, okay? I duplicate them. Like so. So we have one here, we have one here. Let me just... Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. We have to, remember, change everything on the server, okay? you change If you change stuff on the client, then it's not going to really work. So, yeah, we have this, you know, we have this, then we can have this, then we can have this, then we can have this. And so my goal with this, right, is that I want to attach all of these to my head, okay? All of them. So I'll say, yeah, spring constraints, spring constraints, spring constraints, spring constraints do, do, do. and then I'll, I'll select all of these spring constraints, all of them. And then what I'll do is I'll just say, okay, uh, the second attachment is going to be equal to my hair. Oh, that is so fascinating, isn't it? And then let's see, am I, am I going to move these around? I am not going to move these around. That is interesting. Why, why, why is this happening? Okay, let's do some, let's do some reflection. Oh, cause no limits. Oh, the, yep. Okay. There we go. Let's, let's, let's say the stiffness is 50. Okay. Ooh, yeah, you see how they just get, get closer like this? Free length is zero. Damping is, I don't know, 10. Max force, infinite, sure, why not? And then let's just say, yeah, I'll increase the max length. Let's increase the player's speed once again. So I'll say 1,000, you know? Jump height, 50, why not? Actually, no, 2,000. And it, yeah, if I start... Oh, whoa. Wow. This is like... <laughs> yeah, if I, yeah, if I start like spinning myself. Okay, stop, stop, stop. That is so interesting how it just does that. You know what? As a, as a final thing, as a final little fun challenge... What if I, where's the base plate? Okay, give me the base plate right now. I'm going to do something that no one has ever done ever, okay? I mean, they probably have, but it's it's fine. It's whatever. How how much can I increase this by? Is this, is this the most that I can that I can go to? Okay. Uh, okay, what if I, you know what I want to do, right? You, you know what I want to do. I want to, I want to give my player some ample, ample ground to cover you know what i mean like I, I want my player to feel free like that and then like this right so i want i want a player to be like so just like that look at that look at that oh that is amazing yeah yeah and then how fast can 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 this guy go like realistically oh okay yeah Yeah, and then, you know what? What if I just set this guy's jump thing to be this? Wow. Truly, yeah, no, springs are truly the invention of all time. They are, they they are, they, yeah. Okay, maybe sl slight epilepsy warning, boys. My apologies. Um, gameplay has been paused, you know, so we need to wait while the, while the game content loads. Um, yeah, so that, that, that was your, uh, epic tutorial. I'll stop this now. Yeah, that was, that was your epic tutorial on spring constraints and how awesome, uh, awesome and cool they are. Uh, check my newsletter. It's in the comments. So like sign up and I'll send you emails that are going to be cool and everything. Um, and we're back to basics. Thank you for watching.